Hi, I'm John Decker, PJ instructor and author of the book, Golf is My Life, Glorifying God Through the Game. Today, I, w I thought we would take a look at Tiger Woods' swing, and I wanted to, to uh, show you some of the things that, that really um, he has done throughout the years, uh, which gives him power in the golf swing. And that's one thing that I think all my students are searching for. Um, I very rarely, have, I've never, in fact, had a student tell me that they hit the ball too far. Um, and really, you can, t you can tell a lot of this uh, power by his setup. Um, I've drawn some lines here. Uh, and the first thing I'll do is I'll kind of uh, start out here and talk about um, his, uh, uh, his knees, his feet, and his hips, and, and his shoulders. And when I look at any golfer, those are the first four from this back view, and this is the down-the-line view. The first thing that I look at is uh, his weight distribution. I want the weight to be in the balls of the feet. And so if you look here where his knee is, his knee is right here. If I draw a line straight down from his knee, I want that, to, that knee flex to be over the ball of the foot. And a lot of this can depend on uh, your size. If you have really long legs, if you're someone that's like taller than six foot four, you might have to bend your knees even more and get out a little bit more out on your toes. But uh, Tiger, you know, I think he's right around 6'1", somewhere in there, six foot. So, uh, and this is kind of standard, you know, so if you can get your knee flex over the ball of your foot, that's the first thing. The second thing is I go to the center of the hip here, and I want to draw that line straight down. And I want that line to be right on the little ball on the ankle. So that's, uh, as you can see, is perfect. So he has perfect flex in his knees, which he gets so much of his power. Um, if you look at all the great players like Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods, all these great players who are power players, they use their legs. And so to, you have to be in that ready athletic position to do that. And then we look at the distance from the ball, and I go straight down from the shoulder here, and you want that line to be just with the tip of the toes. So that's very, very good. Now with the driver, it'll be a little bit more with an iron his toe would be touching that. So you can see overall just a great balance setup um, you know, when, when we look at it in his swing. The next thing I want to do is I want to talk about where his hips are throughout his swing. And I'm drawing a line right here. And, and I would encourage you if, you, if you take a lesson or if you film your swing with, on your phone and you take one at like the V1 app and you draw a line right down from your tailbone to the ground there, the, the uh, elite players are able to stay on that line. In fact, I'll uh, clean up some of the lines here. I'm only going to have this one line. And what you'll notice about Tiger's swing is, is he will stay on that line uh, throughout, his, throughout his swing. Um, so as he goes back, he'll actually push back a little bit against that, just like that. And then as he goes to the top, he's on that line. And then as he transitions, he's on that line. And notice as he comes down and he hits the ball, he's on that line. One of the things that I also have done, I've done several tips on, is notice how much of his weight has shifted from his right leg into his left leg, left leg straightening up. But again, looking at that line and where his hips are, notice how he does that. By staying there, he's able to maintain his spine angle this way, uh, which is beautiful um, and, and just an overall powerful swing. So if you want to have a powerful swing, when you're finished, you want all your weight. Notice here his left heel is on the ground. Look at that toe. It's off the ground. So he's got all of his weight right there, and he's got all the way up to his left hip right there. That's where you want the weight to be. You don't want any of the weight in the right foot at all. Notice all the weight is off of the right foot. You can see all of his spikes right there. So this is a great way to visualize what you're trying to do in your golf swing. Uh, I've done a, a, a golf tip on, on golfswing.com, which talked about maintaining your spine angle, and I addressed this right here. But I wanted you to see it in slow motion with an elite player. Uh, take this information, try to apply it to your full swing. If you do this, you're definitely going to gain power, and you're definitely going to improve your game.